Hello everybody, it's me Heather and I have a haul video today. I was debating whether I was going to go ahead and do this video or not because I'm actually still waiting on part of an online order and anyways, I ordered um, some stuff from Ulta.com January 29th. At the time that I'm filming this, it is actually February 10th. And according to the tracking, it's supposed to be here in like two more days. And I just don't want to wait that long because I have all this other stuff that I bought that I want to start using. <laughs> I don't want to wait to like keep it in its pristine condition just for the haul video before I can finally start using it. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I have. And then when the other part of my order comes, I'll probably do a video on that or might just do blog posts. I don't know. We'll see. Because um, it's just nail polish and some stuff. It's actually in some of the items in there are actually part of the next giveaway that I want to do on my channel. So that's actually why I'm really annoyed because I wanted to be able to do a giveaway every week. And now this just threw off my schedule. So I'm just annoyed about that. Okay, enough blabbering. Let's get into it. So let's start with Mac. Um, I recently did a giveaway on my channel. I gave away the Mac Diva Glam Rihanna Lipstick and Lip Glass. The winner actually lives in Romania. How cool is that? So I was psyched that an international winner actually won because this is a person that doesn't have easy access to that. So congratulations to that winner. But of course, being the selfish only child that I am, I couldn't just go in there and buy the, you know, prize for the giveaway. I had to get something for myself while I was in there. And these are actually two nail polishes that I wanted anyway. And I actually did swatches of these, so insert swatches here. Anyways, so this is this, um, Formidable is the name of the polish. This is actually part of the permanent line. And it's just kind of one of those, it's a really, really, really glittery duochrome. It, it's purple that shifts to like blue. It, almost, it probably looks almost black in the viewfinder. It kind of reminds me of like an oil slick. How like, you know, if you look like an oil slick, if you look at an oil slick in the sunlight, how it's has all those different rainbowy type colors, but it has that black undertone because, well, it's oil. That's kind of what it reminds me of, but then, like, really, really glittery. And this is part of the permanent collection. They re-promoted this in the Punk Couture collection, so I really wanted this. But I was like, okay, I can just wait to get it because it's permanent. So I went ahead and picked that up. And the there were two other nail polishes in that collection. I went ahead and picked up one more, which is Impassioned. And this color's interesting, actually. This is one of those have-to-see-it-in-person colors as well. Because I noticed in, like, certain lighting, it looks pink. And then in other lighting, it looks kind of orange. So I don't know if there's just something wrong with my color perception. That could be it, too. I think I have a, I think I have a little bit of an issue. Because I notice I have problems telling different, between different shades of pink. A lot of times they'll look the same to me. So I think we all have that weakness with a certain color or other mine tend to be pinks but this one's called impassioned and it's a cream finish so and I'll insert a swatch of that right here for you guys to see okay then which I do next I went to Sephora I have been in a perfume kind of mood and I'm trying to do the minimalist approach to perfume right now we'll see how long that lasts so I'm trying to only buy roller balls and there's been a few that have been on my wish list for a while. And right now, Sephora is doing some, like, triple points, which I don't know why I care about the fucking points from Sephora because I never use them. I have over a thousand, I'm not bragging, I have over a thousand points right now that I've not cashed in. So eventually some kind of point perks are going to come along and hopefully I'll be able to use those up eventually. But... Nothing has really caught my eye, but for some reason they have a promotion going on until Valentine's Day where you get triple points on any fragrance purchase. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get some of those roller balls I've been wanting. So first off, I got Escada Cherry in the Air Limited Edition. Almost every fragrance from Escada is limited edition, so it's so annoying. And this came out actually, I think, about a year ago, 
And it's getting to where I can't really see find the full size anywhere anymore. And I started having like non buyer's remorse. I was like, oh, I should have bought that. I should have bought that. I should have bought that. And I didn't. And now you can't. And even the rollerball is like out of stock at a lot of places for a while. But my local Sephora actually had cherry in the air in stock. Just a couple of them. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I cannot wait anymore. And if you've not smelled cherry in the air, and this one's actually a purse spray as opposed to a rollerball. It's actually a purse spray. It literally smells like the name. It smells like cherries. <laughs> this one, um, if you like really fruity scents and you like scents that are true to name, like you, if you want to buy something that says cherry in the air and it smells like cherry, you'll probably like this. So try to track it down if you can. It's not going to be around much longer. It's extremely limited edition. But also what I don't like about this is it's the kind that I guess it's kind of like what you would call personal fragrance because really only you can smell it and people can only smell it on you if they get really close to you. So pretty much the only other person who's been able to smell it is my boyfriend. Figure that one out. And, but he really likes it. But it also does not, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of throw. By throw, I mean if somebody is standing near you, they can smell it. Or if they're standing far away from you, they can smell it. This doesn't have a lot of throw. It's like, like I said, kind of a personal fragrance. Kind of like when I spray it on, it makes me feel pretty and I can smell it. But I also feel like it doesn't wear that long. I feel like after maybe even an hour, the scent's already faded and you need to refresh it. Like, so still something I wanted to have and I just can Think of it as just something I want to wear around the house or whenever I want to feel pretty or feminine or just want to smell like a, a red fruit. <laughs> so I got that. And then this is the next two that I got I was really intrigued by, which for some reason, like just around December when like all the celebrity fragrance gift sets came out and they were all like 20 bucks. And then like Christmas was over and then all of a sudden they're $10 and then now if you still find some, they're like even $5 marked down because they're just trying to get rid of them. So I really started liking some of the celebrity fragrances. But this one came out, and it doesn't really fall in that category because even though it's a celebrity fragrance, it just is so expensive. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with these, this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her. And they have the black and the white. So this is the, let's see, this one's sophisticated, and this one is like your sensual. Elizabeth and James is actually Mary, Kate, and Ashley Olsen. Yes, the Olsen twins from Full House. This is their company, Elizabeth and James. So they've got two fragrances. And full size, a full size bottle is $75. And then like a one ounce bottle is $55. And then the perfume rollerball is $22. And I was like, okay, $22 I can do. But I almost ordered these online without even smelling them, just because for some reason I was really intrigued by it. And Sephora is really pushing this brand. Sephora is just like, oh, this is exclusive. You can't get it anywhere, but it's Sephora. And, you know, it's the white and black fragrance from the Olsen Twins. And da -da -da -da. And I was reading reviews online, and, like, the people who smelled samples are like, oh, it smells so good. I actually went out and bought it. So when I was finally in Sephora, I don't go to Sephora often. And because I just like to shop online, <laughs> a lot of times when I go to the store, I'm annoyed that things I want aren't in the store a lot of the time because it'll be released online before it's actually in store, stuff like that. But I wanted to smell these, so that was actually, you know, since I was already visiting Mac and Sephora was nearby, I went ahead and went in and I smelled this and I was just like, oh my god, I really like this. So... Elizabeth and James Nirvana for her, the white one. And I love how it has the notes on the side. It has, I, you know what, I don't even know what that is. I need to, like, look it up online and research it. I am not well-versed in the world of fragrances and terminology and all the special ingredients they use. But it has notes of peony and musk. Those I know. But the first word is mugwai. <laughs> mugwai, mugit. I have no idea what that is. And it's like it suggests, it's a very sophisticated scent, and it's just, it's really clean. It makes me think of, like, a powerful businesswoman. <laughs> it's just, but not like old lady or anything. It's a very clean, sophisticated scent with that hint of musk and peony. I can definitely smell the musk and the peony in it. And I like that this rollerball 
I'm sorry, the white's probably messing up everything we're looking at, the white balance or anything. It's a square shape, which is kind of cool, kind of neat. But since I already have perfume on, I better not put this on. But like this, very nice. And then the black one, like I said, they're both called Elizabeth and James, Nirvana for her. This is the black one. This one has notes of violet, sandalwood, and vanilla. So I knew this one was going to be up my alley because I love really musky, sensual scents. And this was the one where I was just like, oh my god. Like, okay, this smells so good. But what I realized is, like, upon smelling both of them, and first I, you know, I went ahead and sprayed, you know, like, the white one on my left wrist, the black one on my right wrist, and I wore it around, and I, and I went and walked around the mall, and then I came back to Sephora, like, um, you know, an hour, maybe two hours later, and I just could not stop smelling these. And then I realized, I went back in and I refreshed, <laughs> which I usually don't do, but I went and refreshed. So I put the white one on again, put the black one on again. But this time I kind of dabbed them together. And I realized this smells amazing on its own. This smells amazing on its own. They smell ultra fabulous together. So I was like, okay, I have to get these. So I went ahead and got them. And I think like right after I left the store, like in my car. Yeah, I did. In my car, I put these on. So I put like the white one on my pulse points here, you know, on my wrist, on the inside of my arm, on my neck here. Put the black one on the other arm, on my pulse points, and then just like dabbing them together and killer combo. So I'm not really good at reviewing fragrances, but if you've been wondering about Elizabeth and James and you're not able to like go check them out, order them online. Or I mean, go for it. I like, go for it really loving these make me feel really sensual sexy and sophisticated all in one love it so that's all i got from sephora was just some fragrances and then this part of my haul is actually an online order so i, I had two online orders from ulta this one got here within a week which was pretty standard for them it usually actually it's a week usually when i order from them it takes a week the other item that i ordered still hasn't arrived and it's been it's by the time it does arrive if it arrives on time According to the tracking, it's going to be two weeks. So, but it's weird because that item I ordered a couple of days before this item, but this item got here on time. Go figure. Anyways, they are, it's the new Butter London Boho Rock Collection. So let me start with, I guess I'll start with the nail polishes. I went ahead and got the entire collection of the nail polishes, and I went ahead and um, swatched them all on my blog. So you can go to my blog to see what all these look like on your nails. This is the one I'm actually wearing right now. This one's called Lushington. Lushington. And I won't bore you with these. I'll just go right quickly on these. This one is Trifle. This one, you, again, you have to see it in person to really know how pretty this is. This is actually a plum base with, like, gold reflex. Like, it just, it's. It looks awesome on your nails. Anyways, next one. This one is Trollop, a great nude, like beige shade. This one is, oh, Lucy in the Sky. This one's probably my, I don't know if I can pick a favorite. This one's Lucy in the Sky. This is basically a nude, like a beige base with rainbow glitter like again it's one of those have to see it in person or have to see it on nails type shade it's gorgeous lucy in the sky this one is goss so sorry i know it's so reflective falling in trend with the whole rose gold that's going on right now and this one is keen yeah keen it's a really pretty pink kind of what a nude pink, does that make sense? So those are the polishes. Let me get these out of my way so I'm not knocking stuff all over the place. So I didn't pick up every single item from this collection. Um, I just picked up a couple that were really calling to me. And I got, let's see, two of the eye pencils, two of the cream shadows, and one of the tinted lip balms. And I guess I'll start with the eye pencils. Because the way I like to wear their cream shadows is I like to use their eye pencils as a base. And I'll probably do a video on these. And 
silver is my favorite color. I know a lot a lot of people tell me silver is not a color, so then I'll say, okay, what a bright, light, shiny gray then. But so, and this one just called to me. This one is Earl Grey. This is one of their Wink Eye Pencils. And it's basically, it's a silver shade. And I'll have swatches on my Instagram and blog for you guys to see. But yeah, and it's called Earl Grey, so I just had to have that one. And then the other pencil is Twigged. Twigged. Let me pop that open for you. And this one's kind of like a, it's kind of a rosy taupe shade. Actually, I don't know. You just have to see it in person. <laughs> I know I keep saying that about all these colors. I suck at describing colors. Maybe someday I'll get better at it. But then I got the corresponding cream eyeshadows. So I got the Earl Grey one. And Butter London's cream eyeshadows are always a little more, they're not a little more, they're always a lot more sheer than the pencil. So that's why I like to use the pencil as a base, because then once you put the cream eyeshadow on top, it really just makes it pop. But yeah, it's just this really pretty silvery shade, but it's like a warm silver. It's not quite gunmetal. It's not dark enough or deep enough to be a gunmetal gray. But it's not, I feel like it's not your typical mirror shine silver either. It's kind of in between. So really wanted that. Now I have it. And then I got twigged. Again, it is going to be the corresponding shade. It's what did I call it before? I suck at describing. It's really kind of a taupey shade, but it's like almost kind. Of, I don't know. It's not your typical. It's not a. I guess maybe it's a warm taupe. You just have to see it in person. Like I said, I'll probably do a video on one of these. Two of these. One of these. We'll see. Decisions, decisions. And then I got Nutter. This Nutter. This is a lippy tinted balm. I love these. I wish they weren't called tinted lip balms because they have so much pigmentation. And this is just a good, like here it's reading a lot more pink than it does in person. It's actually more of a nude shade. And like I said, these just have great pigmentation. I mean, tinted lip balm makes it sound like it's going to be really sheer, but they have really buildable color. Okay. And was that everything? That was my haul, y'all. So thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the products, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Please like this video if you like hauls and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter because on Instagram I do do a lot of swatches. On Instagram it's just easier for me than trying to insert them in the video, although I did say I would insert the MAC ones for you, so I'll go ahead and insert those really quick, but if you want to see the others, you'll have to either just go to my Instagram or go to my blog, same as my name. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.